A Bakersfield small business owner is asking for help after more than a dozen of her quilts were stolen. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle tells us how the business owner has hope after this crippling burglary. She's an award-winning quilter. She combines different uh, methods of quilting all together to make a masterpiece. And she's desperate to get her work back after 15 quilts were stolen from her business. They're my babies, you know. I've started from scratch with them. The quilts mean more to her than a business tool. Nancy Rink started quilting after discovering her love of sewing through her grandmother. She talked me into it because I was the one person in the family that sewed that lived here in town. We went to quilting classes. Turns out she hated it <laughs> and I loved it. Now her business is at stake. I mean they represent hundreds of thousands of hours of work. You know there's I, I, I couldn't make them all in a year's time. Quilts like this one used to hang all along this wall, and now Nancy's customers are asking why. I was devastated for Nancy. She is one of the most hardworking people I know. She works so hard on these things. They're beautiful, original creations. And it's like having one of your children stolen. Early next week, Nancy planned on showing her work at a trunk show. All those quilts now I don't have, so I just sort of have to regroup and figure out what I'm going to do. Nancy says the quilting community is being very supportive and are on the lookout for the stolen quilts. Cassie Carlisle, 23 ABC. And the value of those quilts, if they were sold by Nancy, would be about $20,000. But Nancy and a quilting company together are offering $1,500 to get the quilts back. She asks if anyone knows anything to contact police.